Hello, fellow snow leopards, and welcome back to Shot 54, your weekly scoop of everything AIS. I'm Alan Gear, and today I'm joined once again by my fellow broadcaster Armand B. Hello, everybody. And the homie Samir. Salam alaikum. The next week meet will take place on Monday, March 1st, and second for all students aged 8 to S4. Come by and speak to Ms. Brown, Mr. Brown to obtain more information about the swim meet. Man. <laughs> Announcements for student council. Prof tickets are on sale now at the Spirit Shack. You can also buy them from Ms. Slade or Ms. Fleming. And yes, they take Caspi. Students, <laughs> student services suggestion box. Scan QR codes to send us your suggestions on the student council board and at the Spirit Shack. Help us make the school better. Get the bread, buy your tickets. If you have any books and you're not longer interested in, bring them to in the library to Ms. Baker and you can get a ticket to purchase a used book uh, during the book swap. Congratulations to our SABC teams on their tournament in Tashkent. Varsity boys got fifth place, Varsity girls second place, JV girls second place, and JV boys third place. The, MVP, the MVPs of each team are Sam and Dasha, Austin, Mariam, Emily, and Brayden. Champs. <clears throat> Greetings from KS. We're excited to announce that we will be hosting the Olympic Hopes Mass Olympiad for grades 6, 7, and 8. Students on Saturday, March 11th, 2023, and we would like to extend an invitation to your school to participate in this prestigious event for free. Please go to Mr. Smith's room 116 to register. Registration deadline is on Friday, March 3rd. Cool. The French Studies Olympiad Committee would like to announce about the French Studies Olympiad 2022 to 23. The Olympiad is designed for 12 year old secondary four students taking the French language. This year, three QSI schools are competing Almaty International School, QSI International School of Bishkek, and QSI International School of Dushanbe. The first two rounds have passed, and it was a video contest and a French language written assignment. Now, the French Studies Olympiad Committee are reviewing it. Results would be announced in the award ceremony February 24th. Next week, we'll know our French champs. Next week, we'll be. Next week will be a literacy week. There will be a variety of fun activities throughout the week, including poem, poem day. Each day a teacher will read a poem in different languages, Spanish, French, Russian, Kazakh, Africans. Elementary door decorating contest, creative writing competition, word college by the cafeteria, teacher book photos, photos of teacher holding their favorite book in front of their face will be posted in the library, uh, and students can guess which photo is of which teacher to win prizes. Oh, oh me, yeah. Um, our new segment, or not a new segment. <laughs> So, here's our segment, Are You Smarter Than Elementary? Hello everyone, and welcome to our third Are You Smarter Than Elementary? I know they both look elementary, but contestants, please introduce yourselves, starting from elementary side. My name is Leanch, and I'm in Mr. Rothman's class. My name is Rivilla, and I'm secondary four. All right, so we have a bunch of academic questions to ask you. So we're gonna start with geography. So please write down the answer on your whiteboard. After 10 seconds, you'll show your answer. Or, I don't know. What is the longest river in the world? Uh, contestants ready? Yes. Show your answers. It is the Amazon, so elementary gets one point. <laughs> Sec second question is going to be a science question. What famous fruit fell down and inspired Isaac Newton to write the theory of gravity? Don't show your answers yet, please. Everyone ready? Yeah. Show your answer. It is an apple, you both get a point. It's currently 2-1 to elementary. All right, next question is a sport question. Who was the top scorer of the recent Qatar 2022 World Cup? I didn't watch the World Cup. Show your answers. It is Mbappe, so elementary gets one more point. It wasn't Ronaldo or Messi. All right, this is gonna be our last question. It's currently 3-1. So, History question. Which country gave the United States of America the iconic Statue of Liberty? <laughs> Please show your answers. It is France, somewhere in Europe is technically correct, but we won't give you the point. So, this was a very quick round. Elementary wins with an absolute demolishing score of four to one. Please clap for elementary side. That's it for the segment today. Thank you for tuning in to Channel 54. I'm Arman. I'm Alangir. And I'm Samir. And as always, see you next, week. Always, see you next week, Snow Leopards. <laughs>
I was cold, bro. What's wrong, bro? <laughs>